Good afternoon guys and happy Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. I thought it was Friday. I keep thinking every single day it's later than it really is because we've like I just have felt so productive I think in getting things done. So um anyways I have my Meyer haul to share with you guys for today. Um we had to run there, we also had to run to Walmart then. We are done just in time to go and pick Jack up from school. So um and now he has class that starts in a little bit. Uh, but we were able to get our errands all ran so we don't have to worry about that tomorrow thankfully because like I was telling you guys last week football like we were a little late to the game because we went from Meyer and then came back and I'm just happy everything's done ahead of time don't have to worry about anything until like tomorrow night so that's probably the next time I have to go out um but I'll share with you guys Meyer my Meyer haul the weird thing is is that I was adding up so they have a sale going on it's by five and you save I think it's five dollars um, and traditionally you have to buy in multiples of five to get like the products at the, you know, at that price. Um, so I bought 15 items. So I did like three of the deals. However, one of them, and I think I realized which one it was. I think it's these farmhouse sausage buns. Um, it didn't come up at the sale price, which I think they were supposed to be, even though they were in the same section as the ones, like they just had like one big like you know um like sign advertisement kind of thing um and so but i know i've gotten the sesame buns before so i think those ones were fine but we got sausage buns and i think those ones didn't end up um coming up at the right price um but the weird thing is is that normally when that happens then the other like four products won't come off like you know the price or sale or whatever won't come off um like the buy five save five so unless there was a random other item that I bought that I didn't realize happened to be included in that sale, um, I shouldn't have gotten that extra like the $4 off or whatever, which is weird. So I like I said, I don't know, it still, it like, it still came off. So I think the difference might have been a dollar. The other weird thing is too, is that I actually bought two of these shaving creams, these pure silk shaving creams, which were on sale, but I noticed the coupon didn't come off. Then the weird thing is though, is that when I went down my receipt, the Angel Soft, I only had one $1 coupon for there was two $1 coupons that came off. So I don't know if somehow it just came off later for the pure silk or like what happened, but I know that it wouldn't have been for the buns because those didn't actually bring up at the right price. Um, and so, and it shows that it's a coupon, not like a, um, like the sale, like, you know, for the buy five, save five, it shows it like a different way, like when it comes off on the receipt. So like I said, I don't really know, but whatever, I think I might've missed like a dollar in savings. And the weird thing too, is that the sausage buns though, were only like five cents more, I think than what they should have been if they were part of the sale or something like that. So I don't know, it's just really weird. Um, so like I said, I think the only difference might've been I overpaid by a dollar, potentially maybe $2. I don't really know. But, um, like I said, it's, I, I think that's right at the price it was supposed to be. The only thing I didn't get was they did have, um, impossible, um, burgers. They were all sold out. They were supposed to be on sale $4.99 and there was a dollar coupon making $3.99, which is a really good price for those about $2 per patty um but which for like vegan meat is a very good price um normally like I can't get that much cheaper for like you know the burgers even to getting like frozen regular beef burgers like under two dollars is normally a good price so um anyways though um that was the only thing I think we didn't get and I estimated around 85 dollars we paid 82 I think something with it, which was including tax $82.26 and uh, $3.76 of that was tax. So we would have been just under 80 bucks minus the tax. And we saved um, $69.13. But I got a lot of normally expensive stuff. Um, and so there was really good, like, you know, um, like deals going on. Let me share with you guys though, what, <laughs> what the deals were that were going on for this week. All right, so this was everything from Meyer. Um, and I'm sorry if it's looking a little like foggy I don't know I hit something and now not foggy just out of focus I hit something and I don't know what it was that I hit and now it's like all weird okay I think I fixed it anyways um like I was saying this stuff was everything we ended up picking up from Meyer, um which again too was a lot of stuff because or like you know normally expensive stuff like these green mountain this is a 32 count which is you know like buying three packs of you know um like regular k-cups but I got them for way cheaper than what like a normal price like you know per 
K cup, you know, normally costs. Plus too, this dog food's normally pretty expensive and we didn't get it the cheapest, but I think I got it for under $2 a pound, which is still a pretty decent price for typically expensive, like, you know, um, like, I don't know if this is the grain free kind, but like we normally get them blue buffalo and that's already pretty expensive. So getting a little su like supplement of that as well to mix in there, um, I thought was pretty good. So a couple things on the table, like I said, that were kind of expensive and then even to the buns, which like I said, I think this was the one that didn't come up with the right price, but, um, with the buns, they, um, they're also, they weren't even the best sale really, but, um, I think we're going to do some grilling for like, um, Labor Day weekend. So I wanted to make sure that we had some buns to do hamburgers and, um, brats. And I think we're also going to do, they do have steaks on sale at Jewel. So I'd also like to maybe possibly do that as well. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'll start with the buy five, save five dollar sale. That was these items right here. So the Chi Chi Salsa, this was um, the 16 ounces. This was only 99 cents after that sale, which is a really great price. And then they also had two, which is my favorite. I love doing this. I just actually used, almost finished up a bottle last night. <laughs> so our jar, um, the guacamole salsa. This was a dollar and 69 cents, um, I believe. Yeah, 69 cents after the buy five, say $5 sale. And then the um, Betty Crocker Suddenly Salad Mixes. Um, I love doing these and I love fancying them up a little bit, adding like fresh tomatoes, fresh bell peppers, um, like cheese, all kinds of other stuff. And we always do the classic kinds. Um, but those were a dollar and 49 cents after that, um, buy five, say $5 sale. And then they also had the, um, the goldfish. Those were a dollar and 79 cents after that sale as well, which I've been getting them recently for like a dollar 50, but I still thought that was a pretty good price. And like to make sure that I was getting like enough five, you know, items or whatever, I threw those in there as well. Then um, these, which like I was saying is really weird because the, um, the one rang up at um, $3.55, which is the normal price. And then the dollar comes off making it $2.55. Like I was saying, that's a little expensive for hamburger buns. Um, but these are again too a little bit more premium like if we're just grilling for like just a weekend or whatever normally I don't go out of my way to get like more expensive ones but since they were on sale and again too it was more of a holiday this weekend I went ahead and picked those up now the weird thing is though is that the other buns which I'm assuming were these ones um, although it doesn't say like the difference because it just says Pepperidge Farm and then the, underneath that with the next item it just says buns they were $3.99 but they came up at $3.59 which is like I said four cents different difference than what the sale is of this but then the dollar didn't come off so I don't know like I said it was weird and I again too because of what the sale price was like this is just retail price and then the dollar comes off this was um like an actual sale like if that makes sense you don't have to buy five to get that at that price so I think that like I said that was what it was it could have been this one but I bought this one before as part of the sale these ones again too I didn't and I just saw them sitting on the end cap with the sign and I was like oh I, I even thought too that they might not be because um I didn't originally see them like listed kind of in the ad so um again too it was kind of my bad but for whatever reason though the other ones all still came up at that price I don't know whatever I don't think that you just had to buy like five or more products. Typically when they have this particular sale, you have to buy five in multiples of five, but it still worked. So I don't know, like I said, it was weird. I didn't notice anything else that came off that said like it was just like a dollar off or whatever for like, you know, just the regular sale stuff. Um, oh, actually maybe the Angel Soft Bath Tissue was, and maybe that was what it says, because it has a dollar off and perks coupon, then also an additional dollar off. But I didn't think that it did, so I don't know. Um, um, but if that's the case, then this coupon didn't come off. Either way, I think I'm out like still like maybe a dollar or two. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't like it was like five, ten dollars or whatever. I'm just trying to figure out like it's a reading my receipt. But the Angel Soft might have been included in this sale. If that was the case, then it was um, originally $6.99. They're on sale for $5.69. And then there's a dollar off that I think you get off if, like I said, you buy the five participating products. And then also a dollar off if you have an, the dollar off M perks coupon that was only three dollars and 69 cents which for an eight count mega rolls of angel soft bath tissue is a really good price even still if it was just with the one dollar off coupon still 4.69 is still a pretty good price that's about 50 cents per mega roll which is still a pretty like it's a decent price um and then also too we ended up picking up the green grapes which was originally two uh little oh 
under two and a half pounds. My mom was eating some of them in the car. Um, so <laughs> they were 99 cents a pound. Um, so we paid $2.29 for those. Like I said, it was a bigger package. We just, we were chowing down on some of them when we went to go pick Jack up. <laughs> and then also too, they had these dull um, wiggles, like, um, like kind of like jello like you know cups um but what i noticed is i don't think that these actually use gelatin which is super awesome because i can't have them because they normally have gelatin in them but these ones from what i can tell i've read the ingredients list i don't think that they have them and they're on sale for 249 there's a dollar off coupon making them 149 which is an amazing price whether or not it has gelatin in it or not but the weird thing is, is that normally if it doesn't use gelatin, it uses pectin. And I didn't see that it had pectin listed on there, but it also doesn't have gelatin. So I don't know what they did to make it jelly like that, but it was not, from what I can tell, gelatin and was not pectin. I don't know, but um, that's normally like a vegetarian or vegan safe, um, you know, like uh, like substitute for gelatin. But I don't know, it didn't, didn't have that listed on there either. But for $149, that's an amazing price. Then the pure silk, what was supposed to happen with these, these were on sale for a dollar and 49 cents and there was a dollar off two coupon so that would have made these only um 99 cents each i don't know why the dollar coupon looks like it didn't come off because like i said i'm assuming the angel soft was actually part of the sale now looking at the receipt makes sense um but like i said i don't know why for sure that didn't come off i don't know if it was like i you know they're the exact same size they're just um two different scents i don't know if one maybe wasn't included with the coupon or something it didn't say it just at any kind but i don't know then also to the Safe Catch Tuna, this was on sale for $1.99 and there was a dollar off coupon making $0.99, cents, which is not too bad for the little pouches of tuna. Um, and I know we have one already in the pantry. My mom can maybe use those together and make herself tuna noodle like salad or casserole. Um, she normally has that and makes it for herself like for lunch for the week. And then they have this Country Crock, um, the 15 ounce um, like butter. Um, it has, a, uh, or it's on sale for $2.99. There's a dollar off coupon making it $1.99, which is a pretty good price for these little ones um and i think we're close to being out of butter i think then they also had this was a little freebie i'm not sure why or what it came from but either the too good or the dannon um like yogurt smoothie kind of things those were completely free with the coupon which was awesome so we went ahead and picked one of those up and when i bought this i actually got a coupon for a buy one get one free so i will keep my eye out see if they have them on sale in the future and then i can always use that coupon and get two of them for you know pretty cheap as well and then because again too it was Labor Day weekend, I saw these were on sale. My mom loves shrimp. These were on sale for $5.99, normally $6.99, but they also had a dollar off coupon making it $4.99, which I thought five bucks for these little things is not too bad. And again, too, um, like I was saying, my mom just like for a treat because she really, really, really loves shrimp. Um, like I think Matthew maybe doesn't mind shrimp too, but I thought that was good because she likes to have that a lot of time, especially if we're like grilling. Like we won't cook them on the grill, but just for like, you know, again, kind of like uh like appetizer kind of stuff like that she likes to have those and so since i saw it was on sale went ahead and picked it up then also too they have this amazing deal on this briars ice cream it was on sale for th uh, four dollars and um 49 cents and they had a three dollar off coupon i'm not sure why i'm not sure if that was like just personalized to my account but that's a dollar 49 which is an amazing price for ice cream so went ahead and picked up one of those and then also too they had these um I got this butter chickpea and veggie like sweet potato kind um they had a couple different varieties but they were normal price three dollars and 19 cents and i had a 50 percent off and perks coupon and again too i don't know if that's personalized to my account because i buy a lot of like vegetarian or vegan things or what it was or if it was just available for everybody but it took a dollar and 60 cents off so it made it like a dollar 59 i think would have been the, the price of that um after the coupon so that's a pretty good price like said i thought i'd try it out because it's just really nice to have something like this that i can heat up in 90 seconds like um you know if we don't get food after like the football game sometimes i'm hungry and like it's kind of like you know <laughs> i can't really make myself anything because like it'll take too long to make because we sometimes get home like 10 10 o'clock or later um and so like something like that where i can just again to real quick cook it up and just have it um would be really nice um so like i said i thought that was awesome they also had to the ragu either the pasta like the red sauce or the alfredo um was $1.99 but they had a 50 cent off coupon making it $1.49 now i get a lot of the pasta from meyer when they have like the meyer brand for like 99 cents a lot of the time or like around a dollar 
um, but I don't get Alfredo sauce very often and Alfredo sauce is typically kind of not more expensive than like red sauce but like it just you know it's like something I don't get on sale a lot so I went ahead and picked that up they also had the cottage cheese which was on sale for a dollar or $2.99 and there was a dollar off coupon making it $1.99 and then they also had the Kemp's milk um which was on sale the chocolate milk on sale for $3.99 there was a dollar off coupon making it $2.99 I actually realized too when we went to Walmart though I think theirs was like $2.79 or something like that. So I realized it wasn't actually that great of a price. I just thought, oh, it's chocolate milk and my mom wanted to get some anyway. I was like, oh, that's a really good price. And you know, like I said, I thought because the sale, now it is like name brand compared to like Walmart store brands. Um, but again, too, I didn't like, I realized it was actually maybe I could have gotten it cheaper if I just would have gotten it at Walmart. Um, but then they also had the the um, dog food, this I and Love and You brand, um, which was on sale for $12.99, or it was normal price $12.99. It was 25% off, so it was $9.74, and they had a $3 off coupon making it $6.74, um, which is for a four pound bag. So again, too, that, well, that's under a dollar, I think it's around $1.50 a pound. Um, so somewhere underneath that, under $2, but that's roughly kind of what we pay for their Blue Buffalo, I think, close to that price. Um, it's cutting kind of a lot pricier recently <laughs> but um then we'll mix in like normally like a cheaper kind of dog food too in with it as well but this was nice because again too it is a little bit more of a um higher quality brand that we were able to get kind of cheap and mix it in with their dog food as well um and then one of the things that i realized i don't have on the table it was sitting next to me in the uh <laughs> bag i still left it there um but these airwick they were on sale for 11.99 there was a seven dollar off coupon so that only ended up making these 4.99 which honestly guys the you know you can always get the like you know starter kits and stuff like that either like free or like 99 cents and stuff like that but we almost never get deals on the refills that makes these only about a dollar per refill which again too is not like the cheapest ever but um again when we have the the starters you know like the warmers but we never get deals on the the actual like scents it doesn't make sense to have them and then not be able to get some of these and i've gotten a a few deals on these now at Meyer where I've been able to get these for around a dollar or less um, and I think like anywhere between like a dollar fifty and under would probably be a decent price for these because like I said too if it retails at $12.99 and I was able to get it for less than half that price that's a good deal I'm never gonna pay $12.99 to get a five pack of these but I probably will pay about a dollar for them because like I said they do last a decent amount of time but um, it says 300 days of freshness and totals, like almost close to a year really that you get these for. And if you don't, you only have to pay five bucks for a whole year. I think that that's pretty decent. So um, like I said, that was everything. And I realized too, again, that was something that retailed at kind of a high cost and we got it for cheap compared to what it retails at, but it's still again too, like we paid 80 bucks really for all this stuff, which like I said, I thought for what we picked up and a lot of again, two kind of grilling centric items. Um, and then also to bulk stuff like this and then these, and you know, I guess that's not a huge bulk thing, but like the dog food and the bath tissue still were a little more expensive. Um, you know, and again, that kind of stuff. I still thought that we overall did pretty well, um, you know, with the grocery stuff. And I have been liking recently, Meyer has been doing this where they have been having sales on a lot of the um, like bulk stuff. So like their bigger coffee things, they did it once with one of the um, like the um, ice cream packs, like the ice cream uh, like cones um, and like these too. Like they've been having some deals on like buy in bulk kind of like sales, which again too ends up working out really well. And I forgot that I even missed this <laughs> Green Mountain um K cup. So those are normally $23.99 expensive. Again, too, that doesn't even really work out to be like, you know, much cheaper than buying like a five, you know, 12 pack at like Aldi. Cause all these I think are like $4.99, maybe $3.99, something like that. But they're on sale for $18.99, which is already a little bit of a better price. And again, too, for name brand. Um, and then on top of that, too, they also had a $3 off coupon. So for $15.99, that ends up making these just a little over, or just a little under 50 cents per K-cup, which is typically a pretty decent price for anything that is, again, to name brand. Now, like I was saying, you can get, like, store brands, like Walmart or Aldi or something like that. 
a lot of times a little bit cheaper than that but again too if you're not you know you are brand loyal which we're not necessarily like everybody will kind of just drink whatever um but again too like to kind of splurge sometimes but still get a really good deal on some of the again more expensive kind of brands or varieties that is still a really good deal normally for me i look at kind of anything that's around like for a 12 pack probably under five dollars or like less um unless it's starbucks starbucks i will typically and there's i think only a 10 pack i will do 5.99 for because i know that's like the cheapest i can kind of get that's still way cheaper than buying the starbucks k-cup brands at walmart like it's still ridiculously expensive like even way more money than that and still 6.99 that's or you know 5.99 that's still like you know over i think 50 cents per k-cup um especially when it's a 10 count so some of them are 10 counts some are 12 counts it depends on like i said what the variety is that you're buying or the you know the brands but typically for the green mountain i think they sell theirs in 12 count up again to working out to be a, a little bit cheaper i think than what this cost but i have not seen a sale on that or gotten a deal on like any of the even 12 count k cups for like that price so again too i thought that that was you know like a pretty again pretty decent price and again too just to splurge a little bit because i do know i think we just have the coffee that we got my mom for her um what's it called for her birthday my dad got her like two of them um and other than that i don't think that we really have well we have the stuff back there that's um the the mccafe ones that i got originally realized i do not like those the frappuccino ice kind but as far as hot coffee goes those two were the ones my mom got for her birthday and i think those are the only k-cups potentially that we have left and I think they've already been partially gone through. So like I said, we went ahead and picked up um, a package of this today, which like I said, wasn't the best price. But again, too, when you look at still how much you're saving, you're still almost close to being $10 in savings. I think that that's still pretty good. Um, you know, like I said, compared to what that costs and again, to what the retail cost is and what I typically, you know, like if I was comparing this to Walmart, these are still a lot cheaper getting the name brand at Walmart. So like I said, K-Cups are kind of funny. It depends on, like I said, how cheap you want to go and how um you know like i said quality because there's definitely quality and I'm, I'm a coffee connoisseur so it's <laughs> definitely a quality i think in different types of coffee again too this is a good price i think for the more expensive flavored coffee too um so anyways though that was everything from meyer i think i got everything now i've missed like several things since um <laughs> since i said it was done um but anyways like i said that is everything i'm gonna get this stuff all put away and like like I said do nothing kind of well I have some stuff to do but um just kind of chill for the most part because I've like haven't even had my coffee today and it's already afternoon so <laughs> anyways um like I said I'm gonna get all that stuff put away now well guys I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed because I'd like to get up early tomorrow because we need to do a little bit of tidying up and then also too I just like to have a little bit of time to get some stuff done that I need to get done too before we have to go to the football game tomorrow um because I'll be honest guys I'm so tired. I woke up at like 8 o'clock I think when um, Jack had to leave for school this morning because um, originally I think my mom was like oh well, why don't you come with to take Jack to school and then we'll just go straight to the grocery stores after that um but she ended up coming dropping Jack off coming back home and then uh she ended up you know like then we ended up going off right after that um instead of like me just going with straight there and then going with to a grocery store um only because jack woke me up only like 10 minutes before they had to leave and i was like i'm not ready to go like i have to still feed the dogs like i still have to get dressed and so um that's my mom was like okay well i'll take him then come back get you then we'll go to the grocery store because i think it's in the opposite direction anyway so um it wasn't like we were like gonna be out you know like he gets dropped off in the same area even um so like i said all kind of worked out anyway but um yeah i was up like i said about the time they left which was eight o'clock or eight thirty or something like that i went to bed late last night so um like i said I'd, I'd like to get up early tomorrow so i'm trying to go to bed early tonight um but I, I didn't end up getting to too much stuff today um just because like i said i was you know um after the grocery shopping and stuff like that i just kind of i got to say 
some things but not a whole ton of stuff after that but i'm happy like i said that just the grocery shopping's done the lists are pretty much made like to go to the other grocery stores i pretty much have them done i just need to type them up which again too is something i'm hoping i can get to tomorrow so i don't have to worry about doing it over the weekend like i said there's just a handful of things like that that i'd like to kind of just finish up a little bit but either way i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys